Hello everybody, this is Colin from Too Good Media, and today we're going to make Genji's double jump and dash. So the first thing you want to do is create Genji's double jump, and this is actually pretty simple now with the newest update to Unreal Engine 4. What you want to do is go to max jump count and change it to 2. This is inside of the first person character component. Click compile, and now when you go in the game, when you jump twice, your character has a double jump. It's as easy as that. Okay, so next thing we're going to want to do is add an action map for the dash move. So you want to go to Edit, Project Settings, uh, Input under Engine, and add an action map. Uh, I named mine Dash, and I set it to Left Shift. You can name it whatever you want and set it to whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so now that you have that finished, you want to go back to the engine and you want to right click and type in the name of your action map. Mine's dash, so I'll type that in, click enter, and you have it right here. Next thing you want to do is to launch the character. And to do that, go to pressed and add launch character. Now that you have that, you want to add the first person camera reference by clicking first person camera, dragging it out, and dropping it in the grid. Now that you have that, drag the first person camera out and get its forward vector. Just like that. Now you want to multiply this by a float, and that float will be 25,000. Next you want to drag this vector over to launch character and override the x, y, and z axis. Now that we have that finished, if we were to play right now, uh, the character would just go flying off into space. Um, so instead, we're actually going to add a little bit more code to this to uh, make sure the character stops at a certain time. So first thing you want to do is drag out of launch character and add a delay. Uh, make this delay about 0 0.02. That should work for what we need. Now from there on the completed, we're going to want to stop the movement immediately. Now that we have that written out, the dash will work fine. So if we click play, we can now double jump. We can also dash. But as of right now, we do not have any cooldown on the dash, so you can dash an infinite amount of times. To make the cooldown for Genji, we're going to want to drag out this arrow and type in timeline add a timeline. Name it cooldown. From there, you're going to want to switch this from play to play from start. Um, if you just play it, it'll just once it's finished once, it won't start again. Now double click the cooldown, add a float, and name it cooldown. You want to add, you want to right click this grid and add two keys. The first one at time of 0, and a value of 3. Second one at time of 3, and a value of 0. Okay, so from there, we have the timeline. What you're going to want to do with that is you want to drag out cooldown and click Promote to Variable. Uh, I'm going to name this Genji-Cooldown. Okay, so from there, we're going to set this every updated tick, which is right there. And now that we have that, we're going to go back to the front of the input action and put in a branch. This branch will be controlled by this variable that we made, so we're going to drag that out, click get, and um, drag it out from the get, and put in the double equal sign. We want to equal this to another float, which will be 0. And you want to drag this condition to the branch. Now that we have that, we have a fully working cooldown, a fully working dash, and a fully working double jump. Let's try it out. So as you can see, we have a single jump, we have a double jump, and we have a dash. Thank you all for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, you know what to do. And as always, thank you all for watching, and have a good game.